Oh, just great. Looks like it got scratched. Yep, yep, definitely scratched. <laughs> Obviously, it snowed just a little bit, not too bad. I think it'll melt pretty quickly and we'll get going later today. But right now, we've got a flat tire on the Ripper, so I'm headed to Deer up in Glenwood to grab that tire. And Jim and I are gonna head out to the field, see if we can get that thrown on there. And I've got a massive headache from grinding my teeth while I sleep. Does anybody else do that? Ooh, that looks heavy. It doesn't look any lighter even when it's in the back of the truck. Ah! Seems a lot slower to kick in than I was hoping. Morning, Anna. Hey, Didge, what's going on? See ya. Holy smokes, thank God everybody's okay. Man, I thought I had a headache. Whoa, that would get a guy's attention. Nobody's out here. I would guess they're gonna come back for their machine. That's a joke, I know they're coming back for their machine. How did he get out of here? Oh, there we go. Just uh, some gymnastics moves. Hey. Are you okay? You okay? Come on, stupid traction control. Oh. There we go. Yep, just as I suspected. As he said, stuck. The co-op is gonna take our 6410 up right now to pull their pickup out. I'm gonna keep looking for a better rope and chain to help them pull that pickup out because I know I've got one around here somewhere but when we moved houses a few months ago, I can't figure out where I put that thing. Got it. Perfect for a one ton pickup stuck in the mud. Or the ice or the snow or, you know, whatever. Meanwhile, Dad and Jim are five miles south handling that tire. How you doing? Be real close. We got we get the hubs gotta go down like you eight ten stay inches. In there, we'll motion you. Yeah, you can just stay there. Well, let's get it in half hooked on the rim, yeah. God dang we're close. See how close we are? Let's see if we can twist it just a hair. We can get one of those top ones if I can spin that. Right. Oh, oh, there. Right there. Oh. there. Yeah. Uh now I'm feeling go up. Oh, go up with the hub? Go up with the hub. Up with the hub! <laughs> it went better than I would have expected, too. Yes. Tire over? We're on. It's hanging on the hub. All, the, all Every stud We're is good. through. We're gonna... I knew it would be pretty simple. Yeah, I knew that it wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be a problem. It was pretty simple for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's getting pretty slimy out because the snow is starting to melt a little bit. We're going to send Jim over onto some corn stalks. And we're going to decide because of how greasy it is and wet it is, we're going to run without those front disc blades. So I'm going to set another preset on our true set here. I'm going to create a preset three so that these settings are exactly the same, but without the disc blades in the ground. So I want eight and a half and one, and I'm going to go to negative on the disc. So this will be a negative 5, 8.5, 1.0, there we go, there's one, there's two, there's three. What is that? So now he's got his preset one, which is standard. We got preset two, which is a lot more shallow with the blades up for the soybean ground. And we got preset three, which I've set for muddier corn stock ground to keep the discs all the way up out of the ground, the ripper's a little bit shallower. And the idea is that the implement will maintain the constant depth without him having to worry about it. There's the aftermath of tire and rim number one. Are you okay? You guys okay? Okay, see ya. Yep. Four, traction control off, mud. Now some of you are maybe wondering if I did any speeding from there to here, and my answer is no, that's illegal. Well, we got a whole crew and an awful lot of commotion going on back here now. Take note, that must be all of 15 feet in the air, and it's got mud on it, it hit the ground. Oh. 
looks like they're gonna crisscross the cables here pull with two rigs and anchor to the dozer I'll just narrate it and act like I know what I'm talking about Oh, just great. Looks like it got scratched. Yep, yep, definitely scratched. Just got too slimy on you? Yeah. Well, you remember last year when you got that tractor stuck? Th these guys did a much worse job than you did. Pulling. Just don't catch it with your head. Yeah, right. Now you wrecked the roof. That wasn't very eventful. No, not really. no, kind of boring. Man, they did a real good job of setting that down nice and easy. Another one stuck. <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting there. What a nice little Saturday, huh? He might get out of there. <laughs> I don't think he's going far if he does move. Harvest 19. <laughs> I'll just pull them all the way home. There we go. <laughs> he still can't stay on top. Don't flip it. The plan now is to hook, hook the 6410 to it and try to pull it straight down this hill so it's a little more comfortable to work on and it's sitting a little bit easier. They didn't like my little chain. I don't really think it's the size that matters, but they brought us a better one. Should be able to weld this mirror back together. Well, they're cutting. We may as well pick up some of this mess. For those concerned about the spill here, what that is is phosphorus and potassium, a little bit of mez, or mez. If you're a farmer, you know what I'm talking about, but a little bit of sulfur, a little bit of zinc. Basically, it's plant food. That's all it is. It's, uh, there's no, there's very little nitrogen in here. It's really difficult to run a bucket, drive a tractor, and control a camera at the same time. Phosphorus and potassium will actually bind with the soil, so it's not, it's not a huge deal. We're gonna pick it up and throw it in their spreader back here and it'll get spread onto the field and worked into the soil. Now, the wrecker guy has torched the boom back in this end. He wants those booms out of the way for when they tow it down the highway and he can't get it to break off, so he wants me to destroy it. I would think this green tractor should break that one pretty easily. Maybe not as easily as I had hoped. Came apart. I got Will here. Will came all the way back in this muddy field to come watch this John Deere tractor rip apart this red machine. What do you think, Will? Cool. 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 Are you excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Your combine looks like it's in pretty good shape. I know. It, that's in pretty good shape, but you know what isn't? That red machine over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a little tore up. Yeah. <laughs> you like watching the, the movies, the videos? Yeah. Yeah. You like farming? Yes. You like John Deere? Yes. What about Case? Yes. You like them all? Yes. A tractor is a tractor? Yes. Attaboy. But it's still fun to you know, make fun of make fun of the red ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there goes another load of red scrap iron leaving the field the way they normally do. Just kidding guys. I believe the plan is to drag it all the way to the road with that thing, which is one mile over the river and through the woods. Get the fertilizer wagon out of the way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Only another mile to go. What we're gonna do with the little bit of leftover fertilizer here is actually get a manure spreader out here and we're gonna have to scoop some dirt and get all this cleared out of here and into a manure spreader and then we'll spread it out 
more evenly across the acres just to make sure we don't have a concentrated spot here but that's for later I was afraid of that I'm gonna stay up here but I'm pretty sure that truck is stuck he's not really stuck but he can't really get up the hill so they're gonna run the dozer up to the north end of that field and drop off the floater get it on the rollback and then the dozer is gonna make its way down here hook up to him and I don't know if he'll use a winch or hook a chain on but there's nothing I can do he's just gonna have to camp out there for an hour don't go anywhere here's what I was really hoping to do today was run some tillage and harvest some corn but Jim was out running tillage and it got too slimy so he had to quit so we can't run tillage because the snow that was here has all melted down and now it's just so greasy and the problem with harvesting the corn is going to be this right here this stuff is just barely melting and it's really sticky and it'll get with this stuff and plug the sieves up in the back of the combine and throw all the corn out the back and then we'll freeze up the sieves and we'll have all kinds of problems and it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I am not going to be able to harvest today. I wonder if Tony Fast from Fast Egg Montana is in the area. I'll call him and find out. Tony Fast? Are you in the area? You know, as luck would have it, Tony Montana happened to be in the area. So I may as well show him what a green farm looks like. Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? Huh? Which one of you? Ready to go eat? I am. I'll call Randy. Sounds good. Girls? Yeah? And Onyx, are you ready to go get some burgers? Where at? Rhiannon, what do you, you look terrifying. Like, you're ready to go 